Hey, what's up, everybody? This is uh, Trade Dog Official, and um, just working on my garden here. Feeling a little bit conspicuous. Don't mind me. Um, so uh, basically, I'm looking at my corn here, and it looks a little bit um, dead, like dried out. And uh, the corn husk is still there, but there's this weird moth. Uh, looks like uh, eggs that are laid, and uh, the corn didn't really develop the way it should have. So I don't know what happened there, but um, I'm going to open it up. I'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside. Um, I should note that I didn't get around to uh, for, to applying any pesticide in the past, I think, week or two. So that may have had something to do with it. Um, anyways, let's check it out. So here's the corn. As you can see, everything around it's lively and healthy. But this particular plant just died out. So let's take a look at this corn here. So looking at the... Uh, root structure it looks fairly healthy but uh, I can see there's this little worm um, see if I can focus in on it this little worm that's uh, causing a causing a need for concern this little thing I don't know what that is so maybe that's the reason but uh, I don't know, let's open up the corn and see what happens so even before I open it, I can already see that there's some eggs that have been laid. So obviously, something's uh, benefiting from this corn plant. I bet you, if I look inside, there's probably some worms in there. So let's see. So looking inside of it, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But if you look close, deep in here, try to zoom in. I could have sworn I saw some worm crawling around. No, I can't really see much of anything. I mean, maybe it's just this plant's time to go, you know? Maybe it just hit its genetic peak. It went to seed. It was ready to die. Oh, wait. I spoke too soon. Let's look on the other side here. Oh. There's some cause for concern. There's some serious mold growth there. Caused probably by some sort of bug. It's been eating it. I don't see any movement. I just tried to dissect it. So cutting it right down the line, I didn't see any uh, bugs or anything. It's just mold. So this could have just been a fungal disease, bacterial disease, genetic defect, lack of fertilization, a lot of possibilities. But um, I mean, other than that, as you can see, Pretty healthy looking corn. That looks pretty tasty. I think I'm gonna take a bite. As you can see, the butternut squash is uh, fruiting and flowering at the same time. You can see this corn stalk is pretty healthy. Still green, healthy, photosynthesizing. Looking nice and beefy. I'm gonna apply some BT tonight. I have some green beans developing here. The beans are doing phenomenally well. And the corn is somewhat poking through where it can. So it's not like it's totally getting choked out. Although it is certainly uh, being uh, utilized to the maximum effect. Um, you can see the squash, this compact squash is doing pretty well for itself. This transplanted trailing squash is still it really is slow and looks like its flowers are not even, oh, the flower just fell off. Its flowers are not doing well. Looks like it's going to try again. Could dearly use some water and some fertilization. It's been a hot one recently. Um, this uh, trailing squash over here that was not transplanted seems to be doing pretty well for itself. Somewhat green. Yeah, there's some yellow there. Yeah, flower fell off. But uh, still looking somewhat green and healthy. And I'll be able to fertilize it for the first time in uh, a week or two. Um, yeah, everything's doing pretty well. These beans right here look really healthy. Just found these. Uh, it looks like something's trying to get into it. You can see right there. For the most part, they're pretty healthy. Turning nice and yellow. Um, 
This right here, this squash in the corner, has always been slow since its inception. Um, it's good to see that it is flowering. It could really use some uh, some fertilization. I think the yellow is either a sign of heat, too much sun, um, or maybe a lack of a mineral like iron. So the fertilizer I use does contain iron, so we'll see how it uh, is affected by that. So I'm just applying a little bit of miracle Grow to my plants. Going to apply some BT to the corn here. Which should do. So now that one of the corn plants has been removed, it should give the other ones a little bit more room to uh, get sunlight and to uh, spread the roots out. So that's this week's episode. I'll keep you posted on how it goes in the near future. Signing out, Trade Dog Official. Peace.